Hello beautiful people, welcome to my channel. If you've been here before, so good to have you back. Thank you, I appreciate you. If this is your first time, hi, I'm Somi, a physiotherapist and nutrition expert. My videos are centered around health topics, weight loss tips, hacks, weight gain too. I have workout videos, all the juicy information you need about how to live a healthy lifestyle and all in a fun way, just fun health topics. Please like this video, it's just right here, like and subscribe, then hit the bell. <laughs> all right, enough chit chatting, let's jump right into the video. So today's video is such an important one. As a health and fitness coach, I come in contact with a lot of people that tell me, oh, they've tried to be healthy and keep to a healthy lifestyle and fitness, but they seem not to be getting their desired results. So I've been able to narrow it to five, common mistakes that people make that may prevent them from seeing their desired results. This is information that everyone needs to hear. All five of those mistakes are super common. It's so important to get this information. So do stick around and watch the entire video. Your scale reading isn't always accurate. So I don't know if this has happened to you before. You are eating right, you're working out, you're doing all the healthy things you're supposed to, you get on the scale, no change. You continue doing all the healthy things, you get on the scale again the next week, no appreciable difference. And that could be really frustrating. So one major reason for that could be that yes, you are burning fat, but you are actually gaining lean muscle. So what I mean is lean muscle is heavier than fat per volume. Let me give an example. I need something. <laughs> okay, let's say this is a cup, right? And you put some fat in it right then you have another cup the same cup and you put some muscle in it the one with the muscle is the same cup the same volume but the one with the muscle will be heavier because muscle is actually heavier than fat right per volume so that's what i mean therefore you are doing something you are achieving something you are burning the fat but it may not translate on the scale because the muscle that is replacing this fat is actually heavier so I'll tell you what to do to check if you're actually making progress. You measure your arms, you measure your waist, your abs, even your thighs. Even if the weight doesn't really move on the scale, you will notice a huge difference in the measurements taken week to week. Also bear in mind that what you've eaten and drank for the day can translate to the scale so it's always best to weigh yourself in the morning before you've eaten or taken anything women i want you to also remember that when you're ovulating or on your period your hormones play such a major role just stay off the scale this time don't even take measurements because you're going to be heavy you're going to be bloated you're going to be retaining fluids so the scale readings and your measurements are going to be off the so-called healthy prepackaged foods. A lot of companies promote their products as healthy using misleading labels like heart healthy, whole grain, organic, sugar free. The basic ingredients in some of those foods could be healthy, but then they pack on the high calorie stuff like corn syrup, cane juice, refined flour, etc. to make it taste good. Look out for ingredients that end with os, it's sugar. They may not call it sugar, but it really is. There are so many foods these companies promote as good for you, healthy for you, weight loss friendly, but they will do absolutely nothing to help you lose weight. Many of them will even sabotage your efforts. This topic is such a trigger for me because the blatant lies they tell to get you to buy their products. I feel like this topic will be an entire video on its own because there are so many examples to give. Please drop a comment below. Let me know if you want to see that video. But for now, I'll give you a few examples. Protein bars. Many of these bars contain a basic protein source, usually whey or soy, but then are highly processed and have a ton of additives like high fructose corn syrup, saturated fats, and so forth. So say no to these protein bars, unless you're just eating them for fun like you would chocolate, not because you expect it to help you in your health and weight loss journey. Another good example, granola cereal. Same thing as the protein bars, there's a healthy base and then a lot of added sugar. Also nuts and raisins which are healthy enough but pretty calorie dense. So you really have to dig into the ingredient list 
and nutrition info of this thing before you consume. Please keep watching some good ones ahead. Relying on just workout without a good meal plan will get you nowhere. So I don't know if you've heard this before, but losing weight is 80% your diet, 20% workout. The quality and quantity of food you consume is honestly the deciding factor in whether you lose weight or not. Now working out is very important and I'm not one of those coaches that will tell you don't worry, you don't have to work out, no. Working out is good for you. It helps you maintain muscle integrity. It's good for your health. It's good for your heart. Not that working out doesn't help you lose weight. <laughs> oh, it totally does. It's just that your diet plays a way bigger role. Many people assume the weight is lost in the gym. Years and years ago, I used to think like that. And I know many people still do. And I would get so frustrated because I was putting all this effort in the gym and I wasn't seeing any appreciable difference. I knew my diet was important, but I didn't know how big a role it truly played. And so if this has been you, just know that your diet is way more important. Incorporate workouts. You have to incorporate workouts, but your diet is way more important. The quality of food you are eating, the quantity of food you are eating, the way you are preparing it, all those things are very important weight loss. I have a video on some of the foods you could eat to help your weight loss process and I'll be making another one in the near future so just stay tuned. Taking big portions of healthy but high caloric foods. So apart from the prepackaged food that some companies mask as being healthy, there are some foods that are actually healthy and good for your body. Very nutritious yes but they will hinder you if you don't limit their intake. That is if you are trying to lose weight. The most popular culprits are fruits. Fruits are good and nutritious, but they are not playing when it comes to calories and should be taken in moderation if you are on a weight loss plan. Honey. Honey is good and healthy for you, but you need to watch your portion size with it because it still has quite some calories. Nuts. Nuts are nutritious but have some major calories, so you have to be quite careful with them, especially as there's a tendency to over snack on them. So it's a good idea to limit the intake of this when you're trying to lose weight. Mistake 5. Not incorporating weight and resistance in your workout. When you're trying to lose weight, it's a good idea. In fact, it's so important to incorporate weights and resistance into your routine. The perfect combination to achieve weight loss is cardio, exercise, and weights. So it may be like weights, even women, eh. yes, even women. Contrary to popular belief, regular weightlifting and resistance training will not make a woman bulk up. Women do not have the kind of hormones that will make you bulk up with muscle and get all... Um, For a woman to achieve that, she'll have either have to be taking some form of bulking supplements or extreme weightlifting and by extreme I mean extreme weightlifting and I'm sure 99.9% .9 of us are not doing that anyway so please you are safe go ahead incorporate dumbbells and resistant bands into your workout routine into your cardio so why it's important to use weights and resistance in your workout routines is that it helps you develop some good lean muscle which increases your metabolic rate which will then help you burn belly fat and general body fat faster but guys go ahead and use all the weights you want i'm sure you want to burn fat and bulk up so go ahead knock yourself out oh it's time to go i don't wanna but i have to thank you so much for watching till the end so please check out my workout videos i post a new one every wednesday so see you next time. Goodbye.